What's going on everybody? Today I am going to be doing the network miner path under the network security and traffic analysis. So we'll just hop right into this. So in task one, it's basically just going to tell you a brief description of what it is. Uh, you don't have to answer any questions. So on that one, you can just hit completed and move on. Okay, so for task number two, it's also just a bunch of reading. Uh, you're just going to have to read everything. There's no questions down below. Um, so you can just hit complete it on that, and then you can continue to task number three. For task number three, it's going to be very similar to task number two. It's just a bunch of reading. Uh, it tells you what it can do, basically, pros and cons, and then the differences between Wireshark and Network Miner. Um, so after you read all that, just hit complete it and go to task four. Okay, so for task number four, you're going to need to go back to task number one and start the machine. Uh, when you start your virtual machine, this will pop up on the side. Uh, so we'll get to answering the questions after you read all this information here. Okay, so the first one uh, wants us to run this PCAP file, so we'll go ahead and open Network Miner here. Okay, and then you want to go to Exercise Files, and then it's the MX-3 here. For the first question here, it says, what is the total number of frames? If you click on the Frames tab and go all the way to the bottom, there's 460. Okay. Moving on to the second question, how many IP addresses use the same MAC address as the host? Um, so if you go to Network Miner 2.7.2, .2, expand on this uh, IP address right here, and then under MAC, you can expand that again, and then you can see that there's two, so the answer would be two there. And then it says how many packets were sent from host 65. Um, so we'll just go to that host real quick. And then how many packs were sent? It looks like there were 72 packets. Okay, and then the last one for this PCAP file. Uh, what is the name of the web server uh, banner under host 65? Uh, so if you expand host details under the IP address, it looks like it's looking for Apache right here. Alright, uh, and then we'll go to the MX-4 ECAP file. Okay, so what is the extracted username? Uh, if you go over to credentials here, I think that it's looking for the username uh, hash, uh, hashtag b slash or backslash administrator. So we'll type that in down here. All right, that's the right one. And then what is the extracted password? Okay, so uh, some people were asking how to copy and paste an answer from the virtual machine. If you make it full screen with the, the view and full screen button down here, it, it'll open up another tab. Uh, and then you can, it'll ask if you want to copy things to the clipboard. Allow that, obviously, and then copy password. And then we can paste it here. And there you go. Moving on to task number five. Okay, so in task number five, it's going to have some more information about what you can find in Network Miner. Once you scroll past that and read all of it, uh, you'll get to the questions. So, first question is going to be using MX-7 PCAP, so we'll go ahead and load that in. Okay, so the first question, what is the name of the Linux distro mentioned in the file associated with the frame, uh, the frame 63075? So, we'll go over to files right here. And then you can uh, sort it by frame, but it doesn't flip it. So I'm going to have to scroll all the way down to the frame uh, 63,000. Okay, after you loaded uh, the MX-7 PCAP file, and you want to go over to the Files tab, and then you want to search for the frame 63075. After that, you want to make sure this is set to frame number, uh, and then hit Apply, and then this will pop up here. Okay, after this pops up, you want to right click and then you want to go to File Details and then right down here it'll say the Linux distribution is the CentOS. So that's what we'll type in. And what is the header of the page associated with frame 75942? Okay, and it looks like right here the header of this frame is going to be the password-ned space ab. 
Some people were asking how to copy and paste uh, things in and out of the virtual machine. I'm going to show you right here uh, for this next question. So the next question is what is the source address of this image file? Um, so what you want to do is copy it to your clipboard. So just hit control C over here. And then there's a middle arrow right in the middle of the screen when you do a split view like this. And then this little clipboard option is right here. You click on that. If there's nothing in here, you can paste it in there. We'll go ahead and paste that in there. And then uh, we want to paste that exact thing right in here. So if we just hit control V, it should just paste right there. So we can apply that. It brings up that file with the frame number right there. And then also gives the source IP right here. So that's our answer. All right, and then the last question for this file is what is the frame number of the possible TLS anomaly? Uh, so it gives me two different frame options right here. So we'll just go ahead and try both. Um, we'll try the first one first. Three, six, two, five, five. And it looks like that's the right answer there. Okay, and then the next one, so we're gonna go ahead and clear this one. So we'll just remove it. Um, Remove selected files and reload case files. Uh, so that clears everything out and then we can open up the new file. Okay, so for MX-9 file, it says look at the messages. After going through some of the messages, this one says password in it and it also has a link to Facebook. So I think Facebook is probably gonna be the answer. Alrighty, it looks like that's right. And then what is the email address of Branson uh, Matheson? Matheson. All right, so it should be uh, Branson at sandsite.org. All right, so that's everything for task five. We're moving on to task six. So after reading this, it just basically tells the, dif uh, the difference between both the versions before 2.0 and then after 2.0. The first question, which version can detect duplicate MAC addresses? That's a new one. I don't know what one it's asking for. I think 2.6, 2.7 maybe. Yeah, it's 2.7. Uh, which version can handle frames? Okay, this one should be the 1.6, I believe. Yep. Which version can provide more details on packet details? I think that's the older one, so we'll do 1.6, and it looks like that's right as well. All right, we're gonna move on to task seven, exercises. Okay, so it looks like it wants us to load case one PCAP, so we'll go ahead and clear everything here. And we'll file open case one. Okay, what is the operating system name of the host 131? Okay, it's probably looking for all this right here. I think it's looking for it's looking for this one specifically. I think it's Windows dash Windows NT4. Okay, so how many uh, data bytes were received from host uh, 91 from or to host 122 through port 1065? Uh, so if you go over to this IP right here, expand that, expand the incoming sessions, and then expand uh, the one on port 1065 here. You can scroll over and you can see that from client ending in 91 sent over 192 data, data bytes. All right, and then investigate the host 122 and 21, basically asking the same thing through port 143. Okay, it looks like for this one, the answer should be the 20,769. All right, what is the sequence number of frame nine? Okay, so this next question, you have to be in the network miner 1.6 to answer it. So if you go to frames after you load the PCAP file, you can go to frame 9. Looks like the sequence number is going to be right here. It's going to be 2 AD 77400. Uh, what is the number of the detected content types? Okay, and if you look at the hint for this one, it says perimeters can help you. So if you go over to the 
perimeter tab and then if you type in content here apply that this will come up it looks like there's text uh, slash plain or there's the multi part slash mix so your answer there would be two because there's only two different types all right and then we gotta investigate uh, case two Okay, so for the first question for case two, what is the USB's product name? If you go over to the files tab and then type in USB or filter by USB, you'll see this high speed one. You can right click on that one, file details, and then right here, it says it is the A6 right here. So that's going to be the answer for this one. That's the brand ASIX. What is the name of the phone model? Okay guys, after after looking for a while for the phone model, I finally found it. So it is the Lumia 535. The only thing that really hinted towards it was uh, that there was this image and the images uh, file. Next question is, what's the source IP of the fish image? So in the files, we're just gonna look up fish. It uh, looks like there's a crazy fishing JPEG file. So we'll look at the host. Looks like it might line up here, so we'll do 50.22.95.9. Looks like that's right. And then what is the password of the homer.pom emails? Okay, so we're looking for the GMX server, so we'll go ahead and filter by servers here. Uh, which that's going to filter by IP address, but it does kind of make it easier here. We finally got something pop.gmx here at the very end. There's his email right there as a username. And there's the password right there, spring 2015. And then what is the DNS query of frame 62001? Okay, so the last one won't load for me, but it's gonna be the one that we just saw on the last screen, how we found this answer. Um, it's going to be that uh, website that we saw that he typed his email in, which is going to be the pop.gmx.com. That should be the answer for that one. And then on to the conclusion. Uh, it just congratulates you uh, for finishing the room. And that's pretty much all it is. That's everything for the Network Miner video. On the next one, I'm probably going to do Zeek. Um, Zeek's a very popular one. I know that. Also, Wireshark. I know a lot about Wireshark, so I'll probably just go ahead and make a video about all those two. Uh, but after that, I kind of want to do more of the offensive side. Uh, so I might go over to the Red Team one and start doing some of these modules over here. Uh, just because I'm kind of more interested in this side and I, I just want to learn more about this side. But other than that, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you guys. See ya.